Okay guys, so as promised, here is the video on how to multiply two digit numbers. So the example that we're going to try with is 17 times 25. Okay, so like we talked about in class here, what we're going to start with is the number in our ones place. So the number in our ones place on the bottom here is the 5 in 25. So we're going to start by multiplying those numbers first. And I'm going to change colors so you can see what I'm doing properly. And you don't have to change colors if you don't want to, but maybe to start off I would recommend it just to see what steps you're following. So first we're going to do 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35, so you put 3 up here and a 5 down here. Okay, then we're still working with our 1's, so we're doing 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 3, which is 8. So, 5 times 1, 5, plus 3, 8. So now, this means that I'm finished working with my 1's. If you remember the base 10 blocks, technically what we just did was 5 times 17 gave us 85. So we're finished working with it, so there's three steps when we're finished. First, we cross off whatever we did on top, because we don't want to get confused. We don't need it anymore. Then we cross off our ones place. We're also finished with that. And because we're finished, we have to add our zero down here, because it means we're working with the tens place now. So let me change colors again to show us working with the tens place. So now at the bottom here, our tens place is the two. So we're going to start multiplying with our 2. So first we have 2 times 7, which is 14. And again, the 1 goes up here. 1 and 4 for 14. 1 and 4. And then we're going to go to our 2 tens place. We have 2 there and 1 there. So we do 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So put our 3 down here. So technically what we just did is 20. So we have 2 times 17 is 340. So that's where the 340 comes in. And so now after we did our 1s and our 10s, we're going to add them together. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 4 is 12. And 1 plus 3 is 4. And the answer is 425. And notice that the best way to keep yourself organized is that all the ones are lined up, all the tens, all the hundreds. Because if your work starts going all over the place, then you're not going to be able to line up properly and find the answer. So that is how you do double digit multiplication.